right still catching up on my new year videos this is my book review of everless which came in the december fairy loot box it's not officially out in the uk for another couple of weeks um but i would say if you like um royalty mystery supernatural fantasy strong female lead and an interesting concept this might be the book for you Everless follows a young girl called Jules who is from the poorer population of this world um, where everybody has their time linked to their blood and thus they can be drained of their blood which means they're drained of their time or their life uh, and the poor effectively bleed themselves to survive so they don't live very long they don't have many prospects and life is pretty grim for them whereas the rich who live in everless um they're part of a ruling family who demand taxes for protection from the horrible things in the forest and they drink the blood coins the blood iron coins that are made and it increases their lifespan any iron blood that they drink the time in that coin is added to their own uh, so effectively they can live forever and a lot of them are much much older than our main character Jules there's more going on though in this world there is a, a very well constructed history um, involving the alchemist and the sorceress and so we learn about how these two created the link between iron and time and we also learn the history of those characters and how it affects everybody in Jules's current time and I can't tell you too much without spoiling the story there's a key point at about halfway through where suddenly things start clicking and you come to realize there's a lot more going on that you're not being told for various reasons and I thought it was quite clever actually in how things are revealed and how you're able to piece things together to work it out yourself so I did enjoy that aspect there is a slight romance in here it is by no means the heart of the story it is just something that is in the background that makes sense because of where our main characters come from the fact Jules has grown up in Everless previously but it's not a key point until quite late in the story the only flaw I would say and this is a mild spoiler um, is one of the characters that you're not supposed to like um, very quickly I came to the conclusion actually he's on Jules's side it wasn't told until quite late in the story though so if you hadn't figured that out that would be quite a nice twist for you but the fact I figured it out within pages of meeting this guy um, I think it's my only gripe that it, it was slightly too obvious that the person she hates the most is actually her most valued aide. Um, but apart from that, I really enjoyed Everless. Um, I read it very, very quickly. Obviously, it ends on, it's not quite a cliffhanger, but it might as well be a cliffhanger because situation or circumstances have come to a point where things now have to progress but I'm kind of hoping that Sarah Holland takes the next book in a slightly different direction and tells it in a different way which would be really nice I know she has said we'll see the world of Everless from someone else's point of view um, which would be good because most of what we see in here is from Jules's point of view um, which means we identify with her very well we understand her very well but it also means we get a very biased look at the world that we're in. So Everless by Sarah Holland. If you're planning on picking it up, try not to go and dig up spoilers or anything. Just go in and read it because it's very, very good. Um, it's certainly worth going in pretty much not knowing a lot. I mean, even watching my review video might have been too much for you. But 
it's a very well written book with a very interesting concept um, that's not really used very often. I think I've come across it once before and um, I really liked it. So there you go. If you've already read Everless over in the uh, USA, because obviously that came out last month, please let me know what you thought of it. Did you enjoy it? Um, what was your favourite idea? What did you think of the concept of linking blood to time? Uh, leave your comments down below or link me to your blogs or your vlogs. That would be great. As always, my social media links are in the description box down below. As is my new book vlog, I'll leave a link to that as well. If you'd like to go and check it out, there'll be more detailed reviews on there and rambling thoughts from me. And um, thank you very much for watching as always and happy reading. Bye.